Today is my last day of school. It's my last day of junior year. <gasps> and I don't know why I'm so nervous. Like, I'm just feeling really anxious. I don't know why. I'm really nervous. I have two finals today, so that's probably why I'm so nervous. But it's just so crazy because in exactly a year, I'll be graduating. Like, I remember when I was little being like, oh my gosh, 2023, that's so far away. That's never gonna happen. But that's literally next year. It's so crazy. <laughs> I don't even know how to feel about it, but it's exciting. Last day of junior year, let's go. Today is pretty much like the last day of school. So I'm super excited. And my dad made me the youngest breakfast, look at that. I'm gonna go take a math funnel and I really hope I do well because I kind of have to, so. Yeah. I stayed home for my first period class today because I checked online what we were doing and it literally just said we were just filling out a survey on how well she did teaching, which I can do in my house. And fit check, Brian's wearing a cute hoodie too. This is Taylor's Some hoodie. And then, yeah. Um, I want to show you this cool thing. I finished this for our 3 last night. It's this cool, wow, to be like a cardboard house, but it doesn't have to be a house. It can just be anything. So I made a cute little cake thingy. Do you think and it made opens a cake? up and there's a cool little like <gasps> texture. In there? Oh my gosh, it's like a hidden jewelry box or uh, something. I know. That is so That's cute. Like that. How did you think to make a cake? I don't know, I just thought it would be fun. Your and teacher is like... gonna love that, I think. I love it. You. <laughs> so cute. London, hi. I'm gonna walk over here and see if we can talk to London about how she did. London, amazing performance. How do you think it went? Good. You danced your heart out. I'm so proud of you. Good job. Thanks. Are you going to school today or do you yeah. want to get checked out? I have a state fair today. Okay, well, good job. High five. Hey, besties, guess what? This is such an exciting day for me because I'm mountain biking with my sister. I finally got her to come with me. This is my sister, Stephanie. You guys have seen her before. She's Easton's mom, Bentley's mom, Skyly's mom, Phoenix's mom. <laughs> she's the mom of all four. Anyway, she loves to mountain bike and she's been telling me for years and years, Michelle, you need to come. It's so pretty. And I've been hesitant because I'm like, I don't know. I feel so busy and whatever. I just make up lame excuses. Like I'm scared. What if I crash? And she has just helped me get out here on the mountain. And she's like, you just need to conquer this fear basically. And she's right. It is so worth conquering because look at the wildflowers and the mountains behind us. I don't know if you can tell, but it's just so pretty. And I think there's something about getting outside wherever you are, get outside, get some exercise and enjoy the sunshine because it makes you appreciate all of Heavenly Father's creations. And I was thinking that when I was writing, like, look, this is a sign that Heavenly Father loves us because he made this beautiful earth for us to enjoy. Anyway, so thank you, Stephanie. Yeah. <laughs> we just barely start. We're only like a few minutes in. So by the end, I'm going to be very sweaty. It's fine. <laughs> delivered today. This is super amazing. Got two cranes going. These cranes are lifting the drywall up and into the house. They're going through the front door and they've also been going through that window right there. This is really cool because drywall is a big part of building a house obviously. We're really excited about it. inside the house. They bring it in, they pull it in, and they stack it up. It stacks all around the house. Going with a 5 8 inch here instead of half. This is so cool. So we're gonna start with the ceilings.
is kind of what I wanted to do. But they didn't have pink, so we're just doing purple. And we don't really know if it's gonna work. Because it's like a super light one and it's like metallic. And some of our friends have like dark hair. Yeah. I'm doing these. Mm -hmm. My things. I'm just doing this little shit because I don't know how much to do. And I don't want to do too much because it's box dye. And that's like really bad for your hair. And I'm just scared that I won't like it. So I'm just doing a little bit because it'll last a while. Okay, she's about to put the first thing in. Now going back. Oh my gosh. That's like actually kind of scary. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna see. I got pro skills. We finished and we washed it out and stuff. But the only thing is that it didn't really work that well. Like, is it that piece? Yeah. Yeah, see, it didn't really work that well. So I think we're gonna try again tomorrow with like a different color because you just can't really see it. And I think I'm gonna do like a slightly bigger piece because look how small that is. So, yeah. Yeah. The only thing is, Jillian is on This is like the worst mistake I've ever made. I actually think it's kind of cute. Mine is like in my bun and you can't really see it, but it didn't show up anywhere. So. Julia's hair was the only one that worked and it just happened to be her bangs. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Hey besties, Kyle and I are at the new house. What's up guys? What's up? We come here often, as you might have noticed, because there's all these fun updates. And today, guess what the update is guys? See these things behind me? Those are drywall panels, because they're gonna drywall all the rooms, because everything was, has been finished being insulated. So let me show you, this is the insulation, and it's so cool if you've seen the other vlog where they blow it all in like Build-A-Bear, and then they insulate their ceiling, the roof, with all this stuff. Anyway, so now they're gonna put all these sheets on, starting hopefully next week and I'm assuming that they will be putting up the drywall for the next three weeks or so I think it takes a long time but it's really exciting because once they do that it kind of looks like almost done right I mean then you just have to put in a flooring and tile and cabinets and finish work all those things but really the walls are up and to me that feels amazing like I could probably move in if there are walls up right I don't even need walls I could move in right now but it might be nice to have like all the doors on and stuff like that <laughs> so so I went to pick up Lexi and her friends at in and out and then they wanted a ride to Alpine. I was like, just take the golf cart. So here we are. Everyone say hi. hi. So we're uh, taking Lexi. We're going to take her up to Alpine, leave the golf cart at the new house for a little bit. Ride my one wheel back home. Lexi, you owe me. I know. You guys owe me. It is May, but it's 44 degrees out here. It's freaking freezing. Are you guys doing okay? Yeah. Okay. Hi. So I am making shirts for me and my friends because tomorrow is the last day of school. This is my teacher. So I don't want to let this get too hot. But anyways, we're, I'm making shirts. Okay, so London is ironing on these iron transfers. We went to Hobby Lobby earlier and got seven white shirts, right? Yeah. Seven, seven of me, my friends. And then Kyle found a picture of London's teacher. Oh, there it is. Transfer paper. So you can just print it and then iron it on. And then Kyle printed the pictures of London's teacher and now London is ironing them on. <laughs> That's so cool. I think your teacher's gonna love that, London. <laughs> That's so cute, it looks way cute on you. Okay, you guys, I'm on my way to school right now. We're in the car driving. We're like almost there, but I am so excited for these shirts. Pass them out to my friends. Because I'm so excited to see their reactions. And we should come play like a ton of board games and stuff. It's gonna be really fun. So I'm super excited. Okay, we're here. Guys, this is my last day in fifth grade. I'm so excited. And it's only a half day, so technically yesterday was like my last day, but today's like my last. Today's your last time saying goodbye. That's yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go in. I'm so excited. Love you, Mom. Love you. Bye. Bye. The news. Thank you for calling and letting me know. Whoa, what just happened? Oh my gosh, that was a little whirlwind. Like, my adrenaline. Okay, so I got a call just a few Michelle minutes ago. Michelle was crying about one minute ago. Well, I was getting, sorry, yeah, I kind of was getting teary-eyed because I've never had this happen, but the school called and they said, hey, do you have London? And I said, no, is she not there? And they're like, well, we've been looking for her and we can't find her and we paged her and she hasn't returned and we have several people out looking for her. And I just kind of panicked because I was like, well, me and Kyle and Taylor are all here. And I know there was field day at school today and I know 
you know, the kids are outside playing and London doesn't just disappear. Actually, as I was speaking to her, my heart rate started to beat faster and faster because I was just imagining worst case scenario, I don't even know, kidnapped a Phil Day or something. So I quickly grabbed my shoes, we were about to hop in the car and then I got another call from the school saying, we just found her when we paged her to the office, she went straight to her classroom. She's in her classroom now. I can't even tell you the relief I feel. That was so scary. How are you feeling, Taylor? My heart was literally pounding, but at the same time, I was kind of like, we live in a really safe area, and I know that London could be found so fast if anything happened, and I mean, her school is right next to our new house, so I was yeah. thinking that would be the first place to check. Maybe she just was done and decided to walk to our house or something. <laughs> I don't know. It was scary. I think all of us were panicking. How are you I, feeling? I freaked out. I was ready to, like, organize a search party, call the news. Like, I have all these plans around through my head. You already um, had a plan. Oh yeah, so it's good we didn't have to implement any of those, yes. so. I feel like I need to do yoga, cause literally like, I still feel like I need to cry, cause that was scary. That was a scary thought. Yeah, everything's okay. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know if I have like phobias of that. Taylor's right. This Lexi did escape school when she was little though. She was like in first grade and she was having a lot of anxiety at school. And one time the school told me that they actually found her outside the school, like in the parking lot. And they didn't tell me when she was missing. They didn't tell me until they found her, <laughs> which is probably good because I probably would have panicked then too. And it's just a scary feeling whenever you think you've lost a child. But especially this was a little scarier because like I said, it was field day and they were outside playing and there was like this Renaissance fair and very unlike London. London sticks to people. She she goes where she's told. Yeah. Like, she's not a wanderer who's gonna get lost. So... <laughs> unlike one of our others. Unlike maybe some of the other. Yeah. So, anyway, I can't wait to hear from London what happened and tell her our side of the story, because woo, I'm just glad she's okay. Well, there's my adrenaline for the day. Now I can get stuff done. Right? Well, okay, you guys. We're here in the classroom. And we're all wearing t-shirts. Yeah. Okay, cool. Lexi and her friends have been out and about for a couple hours. Yeah. Sun setting. Are you guys freezing or what? It is so cool. That's awesome. That well, great. you guys look like <laughs> there's some friends in there playing uh, hide and seek or something. You guys should go. Is there actually? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Guys, the exterior is really close to going on. We weren't originally planning to make it a black house, but I'm really seriously considering making this house black. I think it looks really good. Black with those white windows. I just think it looks awesome. So, cast your vote. Should we make this house black or not? 